hello there guys and welcome back to another vault tutorial and today um, as I, ha I know how to do this I'm going to show you how to build a fusion reactor not a fission reactor a fusion one and this requires deuterium to run it and you just get that from putting empty cells in a chemical extractor to get water but never mind that let's head um, actually into building this thing so let's get what you're going to need to get first of all is a battery box of some sort I've just got an ultimate one and it can be it's empty for the purposes of showing you how much this thing produces um, some electromagnetic glass some electromagnets a fusion reactor some water some reactor turbine some universal cable some stone a tiny little battery to start the thing getting powered and some deuterium cells and obviously a wrench as well just for the purposes of that okay so what you need to do first is go and place down your fusion reactor on the ground then with your electromagnets like this just build around it and then what you're going to need to do after that is to dig out this area oh I didn't do that very neatly anyway and then you need to put down your electromagnetic glass here there we go so you've got a ring of electromagnetic glass and a ring of electromagnets and you're going to need to get some more electromagnets and put them on like this one thing I will say is you have to do it in this order the electromagnetic glass has to be on the bottom and the electromagnets have to be in the middle like that you can't switch the glass with the electromagnets otherwise it explodes and doesn't work properly I'll show you an example of that earlier I, I built it and was wondering why it didn't work and then was trying to figure it out I built it multiple times um, because I did this on my vault survival with my friends and um, yeah it kept having fire on the inside of it which was interesting and actually um, it radiated me because I let stuff out okay so now that we've built this this ring you just need to get some blocks and you need to come up like this so I'll destroy these ones at the bottom because I don't need those and you're just going to need to run this along Da, 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 da. Oh, I hear slimes. Right, there we go. So now we're ready to put in our water. So then you're going to want to fill this gap here with water and do this all the way around. There we go. And then we're going to want to fill this middle bit here with water as well. Okay, so for the next bit since this thing's not getting powered we can put our deuterium in we could even put some more deuterium in if we wanted to so now we've got 128 deuterium in there now get your reactor turbines and you're going to want to build your 9x9 nine nine turbine across here this will generate quite a lot of power and then get your wrench and right click on the middle block and that will make that into a 9x9 nine nine one then build along this ignoring the ones at the side because they're not going to be generating any power I will say that this isn't the biggest fusion reactor you can build but this one requires percentage wise like less materials because otherwise you've got to build it out with electromagnets and stuff and it's just not very tidy it looks a bit nicer if you do it like this as well so so there we go we've got this going here and then we've got this there we go Like that, and then we've got this coming out. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Okay, so there we go. That's the majority of that done. We've just connected up all our turbines and the big turbine in the middle. So now we're going to want to take this cable out like this, and we're going to want to dig underneath. Oh, we want to go down a bit deeper. Right, there we go we've now discovered our deuterium thing gonna want a cable under that and coming up to this and then on this bit this is where we're gonna need to put our battery box there we go and you want to make sure that the black one the black hole is on the bottom because that's going to be powering everything and then you can power the rest of your machines off of this as well so we will get ourselves oh sorry about that I tabbed out by mistake we just want to get ourselves the chemical extractor 
and we're going to want to put this down. So that's going to generate us some um, deuterium when this thing's up and running. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to need to get is our battery, obviously, and we're going to want to wipe the battery in here. Put it on the minus slot so we can fill this thing up with some power. You may need to get two batteries to make it run properly. So what you're going to want to do is just let this run like that. And it will run down to zero probably. But then it should keep going for a while um, by itself. Because it will be running off a little bit less power. Which is fair enough. It's just running off all the power that it puts in at the moment. And then this will start this will stay on zero for a while, you've got to wait for this thing to actually start powering itself up, that is actually quite loud um, or at least for me it's quite loud so I'm just going to turn it down and did it stop? no it didn't stop, that was fine ok now we can have a look back in here what's going on? still not doing anything? right so now is the time when you probably grab yourself another battery and batteries aren't that hard, you get quite a lot of power from them so let's just minus that and there we go now it's just generating its own power and that's beautiful so you don't even need to use up the whole of your second battery and you can see that this thing is much more efficient than um, the majority of things and now that we're actually generating some power let's dump all this stuff into our inventory and let's grab some empty cells let's bring dump some empty cells in here and then we can grab ourselves an electric pump We'll keep the water and let's grab some mechanical pipe as well. Mechanical pipe. There we go. Okay, so now let's set up our basic setup here. Like that. Oh. And then we can just fill this with water by automating automating it. We're gonna just need to power the pump. There we go and there we go so now we're just going to be creating deuterium and by the time this runs out we'll probably have had enough time to make another stack of deuterium so yes let's see what the deuterium count actually is on you will want to oh no that's not good you will want a way to be able to fill this up with deuterium like further on so we can see now that it's still on 114 deuterium so it's used up not much of our deuterium anyway and this thing does generate it a lot faster than it uses it up so yeah so guys that has been my fission tutorial reactor tutorial and i hope that you have enjoyed and i thank you for watching if you want me to show you the bigger one that's even more efficient than this one then just leave it in the comments otherwise i'll see you later then guys bye for now and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye